Barnet 2, Yeovil 1. Dean, terrific win tonight. Good win, good performance. And uh, we showed great mentality. Um, real good, strong, gritty mentality. It's been tough for us the last sort of three or four weeks with the injury, injuries we have. Um, and a lot of the players stepped up to the play today. Some of the lads, the squad players haven't played as much. And I thought, especially after our performance in the first half, we should have really been three or four up in the first half. And we never did that. And I spoke to the players at half time about it's important we don't lose the game, trying to win it. But in the end, I thought we executed the game plan really well. A little bit frustrated with the goal they scored. We felt it was a clear foul on Musa, especially with the linesman or the assistant referee right in front of it. Um, and to be fair, it's a great, it's a great header by. So they, they had a chance at the end. Lorry's had to make a save at the end as well. To be fair to them, but we had several good chances. And realistically, when it's this time of the season, it's just all about the, uh, it's all about the, perf uh, the, the result more than the performance. Because uh, three points were needed tonight badly. You mentioned about all those chances the first half. It was it was getting to towards the end. I was getting a little nervy, but then two come at once. Finley Potter getting a second in two games. How great has he been? Yeah, look, he's learning his trade. Um, have a great relationship with Sheffield United. Uh, one of my great friends sort of runs the academy there. So um, Derek Geary, he's helped us out. Brilliant with uh, with, with Potsy. And uh, I think Potsy's just matured. And you've got to remember as well, he's sort of slightly playing out of position. He's playing right centre-back. Um, but he's, he's a good player. He's got a bright future. His attitude's spot on. Um, he needs to improve his communication a little bit more. But he's doing really well. And obviously he gets his trust awards tonight. And he scored at the weekend as well. So uh, delighted for him. And then minutes later, Nicky Cabamba gets a great ball from De Havilland into him. He started the game on the on the bench, but great for him to come on and get a goal. Yeah, I just think Nicky's looked jaded. Um, he's played every minute of every game for us. And uh, I thought Moyo deserved his start after his performance on Saturday at, at, away at Maystown in the quarter-final of the trophy. And uh, I just think it was just good for Nicky just to get a little bit of a break. Um, we missed Smudger as well tonight. He's a big player for us. So I'm just hoping that we can get players out of the treatment room and we can get back to sort of our real best um, for the running. Uh, before the game, Kean Flanagan named in the starting eleven. What was the thinking behind that one? Just some fresh legs, a bit of energy. Like I said, we just looked jaded. I didn't think we performed great in, in the second half away at Maidstone. Um, I thought we looked so tired. Uh, we looked lethargic in our play. That's probably our worst performance of the season, second half, I've got to be honest with you. But we did show good mental strength to take the penalties. And I just thought like, Keen can freshen things up. But obviously, he's hungry. Um, we gave him a fair chance and he gave us a good hour, he gave us all he, uh, all he got, so uh, he could have scored actually the great chance, didn't he, where the goal he's made, he's, he's got called out in the corner, really did hit it with his lace, I spoke to him about half time, and um, so yeah, so look, we have got a, a decent squad, um, but we have got a lot going on at the minute in the treatment room, so I'm, I'm just desperate to get some of them lads back. The games keep coming. Uh, small challenge of Notts County this weekend, how are the preparations going to be for that one for the rest of the week? Yeah, the lads will have tomorrow off. Um, Thursday, Friday, we're prepped for the game. Uh, I love Notts County's philosophy. I love the way they play. Um, I thought we were very good up there first half and should have really been in the lead and weren't. Well, we were in the lead, but maybe in the lead by more. That, that's correct, isn't it? Um, so, look, we're going to have to step up to the plate against them. Um, they've, them and Wrexham have set unbelievable standards in the division. Um, I don't know how they got on tonight, but um, from our point of view, which is one game at a time, we'll treat it like any any other game. So it's, uh, but we'll respect the opposition. Like I say, um, we're going to have to do something special. Everyone's going to have to be at it this weekend if we get something out of the game. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers.